Germany in the middle of the 1930s. Hitler's domination had stabilized. The regime's enemies had been silenced, exiled, arrested, murdered. If there weren't already Hitler supporters, most Germans had adjusted themselves to the regime. Cinema offered an additional destruction. Nazi cinema was theatrical, filled with illusion. It was bigger than life. It wanted at all costs to be monumental, a spectacle, something for the heart and the eyes, but haunted by ambivalence. She, too, first worked in Germany. We barely know these films, but there's no reason to look away. These films are better than their reputations. Many are worth a second look, a look that focuses on the details and disregards the surface message without losing sight of it. Some films disclose more than the makers intended. The best of them are self-reflective and reveal something beyond themselves. What are these films about? What do they reveal? And what are they hiding? It wanted to be a second Hollywood. Hitler's Hollywood.